Before we get started, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, turn on the notification, and share this video. And also leave comments if you have any questions about this, uh, especially this part B. And the reason why I'm doing this part B is because I'm getting a lot of questions about part B because it's got a high percentage of fail rate. And the reason why the fail rate is so high, you only have 46 questions. And these four, and you're only allowed to miss a certain amount of questions to get to 72. And you got to score at least a 72 to pass this test. But I'm going to show you how to answer these questions. Uh, I'm going to try to do a quick video before I go to class. I have to teach a CWI prep course tonight at the college. So I'm going to make this video before I go. But here go how you answer the questions to part B. Say, for instance, you got a question like this, <clears throat> part B. If the specified root face of this joint is one eighth of an inch, what is the range of the root face permitted for this joint? When they talk about root face, you know, we out in the field, we call this right here the land. But the standard term is root face, but in the field, we call it the land. So let's say if this land is one eighth of an inch, what is the range of face permitted for this joint? And see, you have a tolerance right here. You got a plus or minus one sixteenth of an inch. So the easiest way to do this, you just turn this one eight into uh, sixteenths. So two sixteenths equals one eight. So two sixteenths minus one sixteen is one sixteen. So that's the minimum. So two sixteen plus one sixteen is three sixteen. So the answer would be one sixteenths to three sixteenths of an inch. That's the easiest way to do it. Because if you're trying to say one eight minus one sixteenths, just turn it into sixteen. So you keep everything the same. And I'm going to give you another example. Let's look at this example number two. If the specified root opening of a joint is one eighth of an inch, what is the range of the root opening permitted? We're talking about the root opening. We're talking about this space right here. So it's one eighth of an inch. So you got plus a quarter of an inch minus one sixteenth. So like I said, the best thing to do, we're going to do this sixteenths. So we're going to turn that one eighth right here into two sixteenths. So two sixteenths minus one sixteenths is one sixteenths. So we know the minimum is one sixteenths. And we're going to turn this quarter right here into eighths. So how many quarters make an eighth? So you got two eighths. So two eighths equals one quarters. So two eighths plus one eighth is three eighths. So the answer is one sixteenths to three eighths of an inch. So that's how you answer those particular questions. But let's go down to a question here. These are dealing with formulas and you got your millimeters and inches. It's 25.4 millimeters in one inch. Uh, the tensile strengths and everything. But let's go down to question number nine. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how to answer these questions. A transversal side bend, and we don't see it right here. I'm just giving you a question mark. But when you're in the exam, taking the exam, they're going to have some side bends there. Was performed on a test specimen, but the well did not end up in the curvature of the bend. No fracture was noted. What shall be done? Shall means mandatory. Look at the book of spec, paragraph 5.4.2. So I'm going to go to that book of specs. And this is the latest and greatest right here, um, 2017, but 2016 is the same. I got 2016 here, which I got marked up, which I usually teach out of the same, same difference. They both got 56 pages, but we're going to go down to page uh, 22 to find the answer we just read. So if we go down to page 22, let's see if I can skip this. Uh, I got it highlighted, so I won't pass over it. Let's see page 22. And we're going to read that paragraph. And I gave you, it's, it's in uh, paragraph 5.4.2, being criteria. And this on the procedure qualification. Don't get the procedure qualification and the performance qualification mixed up. The performance qualification is same as a welder's qualification. So let's go ahead and read this. The transversal bin specimen shall be performed as specified in Annex number 9. The specified edge radius shell, remember the word shell, shall not exceed one eighth of an inch. It is recommended, but not required, that the specimen grinding direction be parallel to the direction of bending. 
And that's another thing. You got X, Y, and Z. And I talked to you about that in another video. It's your grain structures of, of your uh, sheet metal or your metal. For uh, from for face being specimens, the well side uh, face side shall be convex uh, shall be on the convex side of the being specimen. For the root being specimen, the well root shall be on the convex side of the being specimen. Side being specimens may be bent on either direction. For all transversal being specimens, the well metal and heat affected zone shall be completely within the bend portion of the specimen after bending. It have to be in the middle of it. You can't bend it off to the side. That's that's defeating the purpose. So unless otherwise specified, specimens contains rejectable discontinuity shall be considered failed regardless of their performance to uh, preparation of bending requirements. So here's your answers. Answer right here to that question. Specimens not meeting uh, preparation or bending requirements that do not contain that do not contain a rejectable discontinuity shall be disregarded and a replacement specimen prepared from the original well shall be tested. So if you go back and look at this, here's your answer. Right here, A says acceptable, no B. So the answer is D. Uh, disregard the and replace specimen prepared from the original well meant. So that's how you answer that question. So let's do one more question. We'll go to question number 13. <clears throat> when testing a welder to the book of specs specifications, which of the following is correct? So we're doing a welder. You see, they say welder. We call it a welder's qualification, but now they call it a performance qualification. So we're going to go to page 27, table 11. So if we scroll down to page 27, table 11 right here. So if you look over here to the side, it tells you it's a little tab say performance qualification. So they say the welder's qualification. Remember, I told you the performance qualification is the same thing as a welder's qualification. So right here, it tells you, you, you know, the type of test. you got a groove weld, visual examination. Yes, everything is visual tested regardless. Radiography, no. Bent specimen, no. When you're looking for something too or sheet less than 1 16th of an inch, then you have pipe and plate that's greater than uh, 1 16th of an inch. So it's asking you, you just go across, always visual, then radiography, yes. Remember I talked to you about A, always read your notes, A. So right here, A says radiography may be substituted for bend testing for the shielded metal art welding, also known as stick. GTAW, also known as TIG or HELIARC, GMAW, gas metal art welding, also known as MIG, except for short circuiting. Short circuiting is the coldest type of uh, transfer in MIG welding. You got short, circular, short circuit, you got gobbler, you got spray, you got pulse, but short circuit is the coldest and no uh, D1.1, nobody accepts that as part of a pre-qualified procedure and flux core welding processes as applicable for qualifications. So radiography may be substituted for bend testing. This is for performance qualification. So if we go back and we read this, here go your answers. Is a bends are the only way to test, that's false. Welders must be tested with both, that's false. Remember, read the note, part A. Welders can be tested with RT instead of bins, excluding shielded metal arc welding short circuit. Short circuit is excluded from everything. I don't know if you ever welded short circuit, but you probably could take a hammer and hit a T joint and break it loose. And that's why they do not accept pre qualified procedures for short circuit. And number D, bin tests have no requirements. That's false. So the answer is C. So that's how you find your answers to this. And it gets a little bit more harder. And I have this um, test on my website at www.weldingandstuff.net. I'm going to go to my website at www.weldingandstuff.net. Once you get on my website, you can look here. I have different quizzes if you want to take. You know, we got part A. And you, you could take it uh, up to 
what's this five times and then one attempt so i got the prices and everything in part b in part b i have 44 questions and it it is not randomly picked because some questions you have to answer say for instance question number seven and eight you have to answer those correctly in order to get number nine correctly especially on tensile uh tensile pools because you got to figure out the formula and come up with the answer and, and then you got to get the answer to the next one to come up with the answer to the third one so if you miss the first one of the first two you probably end up missing the answer number three but you can just go to my website i got part c i also have blueprint reading if you want to take that and i have a food truck so if you want to take practice on a safety a food safety quiz i even have that here so i'm gonna just click on part b and just show you what it looks like you click on it and what it's going to do is going to take you to uh it's called classmaker website and what you do you just uh click put in your information you can pay through paypal or credit card and once you finish it'll give you your test results you can print it out but this is a good way to practice for your cwi exam and I noticed that most of my students that take the course here in my seminar and they go off to AWS and take the AWS seminar and test, it's like 100% pass rate. I haven't had no student that have taken my course here at the college and then go and take the prep test and fail. So I have over 20 something students that are now CWIs. And I know you're looking at this, you say, hey, this is not um, the new templates that they have they have piping now they deal with piping and pressure piping but part b it's hard to create an exam online for part b but it do help what i got here do help that's why aws do not allow you to take part b at pro metrics only part a and c but this is a really good exam you go in it's got 44 questions and they are hard so Make sure you get the book of spec. And if you don't have the book of spec, let me know. I'll send you a copy of it so you can take the practice test. And don't try to attempt this test without a copy of the book of specs. And I also have the part A. It's 150 questions. This is a really good test. You know, you're allowed to miss a lot of them to still score your 72, but it is a really good test. So if you just want to test your knowledge, you think you know something about welding, Try taking one of these tests and you'll find out you really don't know what you think you know. So um, I'm going to do more videos like this, but I'm going to go through uh, chapters uh, WIT 1, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 10. Then I'm going to do part B and I'm going to come up with a package for anybody that wants to take the CWI exam. So you can purchase this package thing and just listen to these uh videos while you're driving or put some headphones on at night while you're sleeping because i don't think nobody want to waste three thousand dollars and fail that test then you're going to have to explain this to your girlfriend your wife your husband uh, that's going to be kind of frustrating but take some time and really understand what you're doing especially when you're dealing with part b so if you have any questions you can also email me at uh, welding and stuff at gmail.com. That's welding and stuff at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on your notifications, and share this video. Also, leave comments. Thanks for watching. Welding and stuff.